good, a good woolen sock is very necessary for the midday sun. Well, I'm not exactly inside Senegem's skin, but at least I'm in his clothes. The one thing that Senegem would not be seen in public without is makeup. You see, makeup was an essential tool for the ordinary person 4,000 years ago. And again, there was equality amongst the sexes. Men wore makeup as well as women. This brings me back to the strike of workers I mentioned earlier. It happened one day in 1170 BC. Some workers on a tomb in the Valley of the Kings went on strike because they ran out of makeup. They claimed they wanted more moisturising oil and clothes and vegetables and fish. The local bureaucrats tried to persuade them to go back to work, but no dice. And the workers held a peaceful sit-in here in this temple. Eventually, they were offered a month's worth of supplies, but that still wasn't good enough, and they stuck the sit-in out until they were offered two months of makeup and food. You know, why, why did the men put this stuff on their eyes? Well, it can be compared to kind of like American footballers who wear the black stripes under the eyes to sort of reduce the glare of the sun from the pitch. It's exactly the same in ancient Egypt. I mean, you know how warm it is here, how hot, and the sun blazing down on the desert, on the rocks. So for those outside undertaking manual labour, they would have needed something to very much reduce the glare of the sun, so it's kind of like ancient Egyptian sunglasses, really. So, on my face, as a worker, I would have um, some moisturising oil. Lots of moisturiser, yeah, all over your skin, um, possibly perfumed, and then the eyes made up. Yeah. It's very weird, isn't it, of these manual labours going on.